Good evening everyone, my name is Alex Dodd. Welcome to the first part of episode 101 of Dodd's Diaries. Yes, now obviously I've did my 100th diary in Ireland, now I'm into the, uh, the 100th um, era of diaries, so finally I can now say 101. Now I'm recording this bit on Thursday the 8th of September, it is now 5 to 11 at night time I should say and um, this diary I'm going on yet another holiday and this is going to be a proper sunny sunny holiday that I've been really looking for, forward to all year new country for me, new destination, new everything I'm travelling to Greece travelling to the Greek island of Crete which I've never ever been before. I've never been that far in Europe either. This will also be my first trip into continental Europe since the Covid pandemic as well. The last time I went into continental Europe was of course France in 2019 and the last um, like resort abroad I went to was Benidorm in September 2019 but half that week it absolutely lashed down but when I've been checking the weather for this it's looking much better than what it was back then. This will also be a different holiday. This, this diary, this holiday, will focus mainly on the beaches and the great hospitality and the different places. There's actually going to be no trains whatsoever in this. Yes. So if you're expecting me to film Greek trains and stuff and all that, well, you'd be disappointed, I'm afraid. They're all on the mainland, like in Athens and all that. But I'm going to the islands, so if you if you want to see trains, then you can switch off right now. But if you wanted to see a diary which reminds you of like watching Holiday and Wish You Were Here in the 90s, and you want to see me visit, look at different resorts, go to different uh, Greek towns, a bit of a tan and all that, then stick with me, because you will enjoy it. I will absolutely enjoy this. So I'm doing this video diary bit now, this intro, because I'll be quite busy tomorrow morning getting a few things ready before we set off to uh, Newcastle Airport. It's not just me, but also my mum will be coming along as well, so you will be able to see her. So I'm flying with uh, Jet 2 to uh, Heraklion. I will explain everything when I get to uh, Chester Street Station, which is where I'm going to be catching the train up to Newcastle and then we'll get the metro around to uh, the airport, like what I did with um, Ireland in uh, July. Right, that's enough for me. Time for me to get some uh, sleep and for you, I'll see you in a few moments time. Right, good afternoon to you all. Now at Chester Street Station, coming up to 20 to 1 in the afternoon. So, this afternoon, I'm going to travel on this 1302 up to Newcastle, Trans Pennine, and catch the metro round to Newcastle Airport, like what I did in July when I went to Dublin, and flying with Jet 2 to Heraklion in Crete. Never, I've never ever been before, it's the furthest east I'll have ever been as well. And then when we get to Heraklion, we're then travelling to the resort of Malia, Malia, um, which uh, apparently is a uh, party resort, could be like Madaloof in Mallorca, you never know. Let's go on to, um, to uh, London King's Cross at LNER Razuma. Um, this will be the only time you'll actually see trains in the diary, this and the metro ride, because on the island of Crete, there are no trains whatsoever, nothing on rails. So it's going to be a bit of a different sort of diary, this. It's going to be more like a holiday program, like Holiday or Wish You Were Here from the 90s. Um, but hopefully I will visit some Greek resorts, if we get there, because there are buses that run around the island, and hopefully I'll be able to show you some of them. And the weather will be a lot, ten times, a million times better than what it is now as well. I will say I would normally be excited for my holiday, but unfortunately today is not a time to be excited at all. Just yesterday, before filming this, sadly Her Majesty the Queen passed away at the age of uh, 96. Salute to you. 
the longest reigning monarch over 70 years. A wonderful woman she was. And we give our thoughts and prayers to the royal family. But onwards and upwards, us Brits, life must go on. And that's what I'm going to do. We're going to um, now travel onwards to Crete. So the Lumore train to King's Cross passing through, and our train should be next. It's the late running 1301 from Liverpool Lime Street to Newcastle, Transpennine Nova 1, Class 802. All a bit slow because when it's raining you get slippery rails so the drivers have to uh, judge the braking a bit more than what they normally would. Uh, eight or two, two or eight. spin. The rain is really starting to come down now over the town. But thankfully none of this where we are going. Welcome to this Transpennine Express service to Newcastle. The next stop will be Newcastle. to Lamesley and up there is the Queen of the North East. There's the Angel of the, the Angel of the North. She's a queen in her own right. from three lane to four lane on this bit. It's the Tyne Valley line down there. Goes to uh, Metro Centre at some Holbrook on Flower Isle. We're going to see when it's time to service we'll be arriving into Newcastle, the last and final stop for this train. When leaving us here at Newcastle, can I ask that you have a quick look around and please ensure you have all of your luggage and all of your personal belongings with you. Please mind the step down from the train at the platform edge. On behalf of Transpending Express, thank you for traveling with us today and we hope you have a safe and pleasant onward journey.
to all these in the station, please do retain your tickets as ticket barriers are in operation here at Newcastle. And if you do have a connection here, please do double check the departure screens upon our arrival into Newcastle. And if you have any further questions or queries, please do not hesitate to speak with a member of the station staff. Once again, thank you for travelling with Transpennine Express today, Newcastle. In just a couple of minutes time, this train will terminate here. All change please. All change please. Thank you. Now, of course, the, is the bridge named after the late Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth Bridge, which carries the metro across the town. Onto the metro, round to Newcastle Airport, we go. That line down there takes you to the old um, Desmond station actually, it actually goes on to Biker, through, not through Man to Manors actually, through a tunnel. South Gosford, we're going to turn off onto the airport branch. The 
past the uh, Bosworth Industrial Estate area. And somewhere around there is the headquarters of uh, Greg's, the bakery. Parkway now, this is the uh, park and ride station, so you can park here and then travel into Newcastle for the day. And then the next stop is ours. just up there Well, here I am once again, Newcastle Airport on a Boeing 737 um, Jet 2 flight LS. Uh, I think we didn't have to know, but I'll, you'll see the uh, little note in the bottom left what flight number it is. So, it'll be about four hours to Heraklion, and looking at the pass route, it looks like we're going to go across Netherlands, Germany, down towards um, Austria. Probably a bit of uh, Slovenia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, a bit of Albania, before, a bit of Macedonia before we head to uh, Greece. So we're travelling quite, quite over a bit of uh, Europe. 
part of Europe that I've never been to before, but hopefully one year I could end up going to. There's a 737800 Tui, that's over there. And we to park 1540. So it would be a bit delayed leaving, but that's pretty common when you're flying. Um, when I flew to Dublin in July, it was uh, 20 something minutes late. Um, apparently something to do with air traffic control, so... Uh, but these things can happen, hopefully it won't be that long. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you have a couple of having taken you through the safety procedures and equipment on board this Boeing 737 series aircraft. Could you please ask for your full attention at this time to select you? Short moment, set it to Thank you. Time to take you through the safety procedures for our Boeing 737-800. This is very important, so please remove any headphones and listen carefully. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find a safety instruction card. It has all sorts of safety information, with info on emergency doors and escape routes, oxygen masks, how to use the life jackets, brace position and more. You'll find even more safety info in our in-flight magazine. Please be aware of the safety signs in the cabin and follow all instructions given by our crew. This plane has eight emergency exits. These are clearly marked and we're pointing them out to you now. There are two doors at the rear of the cabin, four overwing exits in the centre and two doors at the front. To help you find your way to the exits when there is reduced lighting and visibility, we have additional lighting in the ceiling and in the aisle along the floor. Take a look for your nearest exits now, bearing in mind that they may be behind you. If you need to leave the plane quickly, take off your shoes or anything that may damage the slide. Leave all luggage behind and go to your nearest usable exit. I don't know if we are going the wrong way or we're just getting parked up to one side. Yep, looks like we are just being parked up to one side for the time being. And adjust to fit. Make sure you put your own mask on first before you down on this red trouble. That's why we're late, Liam, because you see that jet to up there. That is also, that's really late, that. And a whistle to help you attract attention. So. It's time to fasten your seatbelt. Simply press the two metal ends of your seatbelt together until they click. Then pull the strap to adjust so it's tight and low around your waist. Right, it's 16.12. We're now 32 minutes late. We're parked up in Newcastle still. Apparently there's problems around with air traffic control and that, so nothing really much we can do now. Just go wait to go. Over there is a Eurowings that's going to, I uh, believe, Dusseldorf in Germany. And at the moment we're just parked up in the plane park, going nowhere. We're 35 minutes late and uh, the engines are now finally revving up. It looks like we are going to be underway soon. There's another jet too coming in. And these planes are two different liveries. Just did the uh, flaps test there on this one. Right, now we're getting going. Uh, 
so I wonder which way we are going to go. Time to leave a rainy Newcastle and head out into the Mediterranean. Looks like we are going straight to the runway. And sometimes planes can go down that way and then turn round.
Ya
white boot have ordered um, in-flight meals. And both me and my man have ordered any bolognese. It looks lovely, that. It's actually the first time I've actually tried in-flight meals. A little chocolate mousse there for your dessert. Awesome. In here, we've got potato cracker, some milk, and a bit of cheese as well. That's actually around £10 pound actually, so I think that's actually quite good. So down there is, I believe, Holland or the Netherlands, however you want to say it. I think we are passing over. It was a bit cleary, we could have been able to see maybe Amsterdam or Rotterdam. That's a country I want to go to one year. After this, we'll fly over Germany. See another plane out in the distance that looks like a KLM. Looks like it's very cloudy over the Netherlands today. Well, 
this will actually bring passengers back to Newcastle, and this will actually be the one that we'll be getting next week when we come back. But we're not thinking about that yet. Down there, but you probably can't. It looks like we are. 
passing over a coastline, so what could be the great coastline.
old-fashioned night and all that, and the wonderful island is waiting for us. Enjoy your holidays, but for now, you must stay seated and buckled up. 
plants are all made on the way to the terminal or in the terminal itself. And before you go, please make sure you've got everything with you. And take care when you open the open air lockers and there's something to make a move during the flight. Our friendly team will be happy to help you in the terminal. You can't miss them. They're wearing our famous red uniform. And of course, a big welcoming smile. Thanks for flying with us today. And from all of us, have a lovely holiday. the uh, transfer over to uh, the airport terminal here in Heraklion. And the plane we just got off will go back to Newcastle, back to the UK. They'll probably, they'll get on 5 to 11. Now we have to get through immigration and all that. Off to Malia we go. So it looks like we're on the coastal road, what takes us over to the resort here in Crete.
Right, here we are in Malia, Crete, in Greece. It's somewhere to half eleven, Greek time. This is what Mimi Mam have. We've got a studio, an apartment, two separate rooms. Um, so we're going self catering this time. There's a the little cooker and all that up there. That looks quite tiny actually. A bathroom each. So obviously, if obviously you said maybe not a devil, you want to have separate rooms. Pick a room where it sleeps four. Because if you pick a room where it sleeps two, you'll have two little beds. And the good thing is, at least, is that you can actually push these um, to Dever as well. Although I think uh, there's a little bit of a push there. So we're going to unpack and then just rest, and then we're actually going to head out for a bit. I think we're really going to enjoy it here. But well, of course, remember. No trains whatsoever during this holiday. It's all about the sun, the sea, and the great hospitality. And so far, it looks very, very impressive. Right, time to crack on. Hello, afternoon everyone from sunny Malia in Crete. It's 12.30 Greek time. We are a bit late um, because we're suffering from um, jet lag. Um, you go forward two hours, you've got to get used to uh, get your sleeping pattern changed and all that. Um, so we've slept quite well actually and not too hot as well. We haven't got the aircon on in here but actually it's not too bad at all. I didn't take the camcorder out last night because I just wanted to walk along the strip and get me bearing. So that's the, f the few photos I put up there. Nevertheless, look what we got here. Blue skies. And this is going to be like this all week. Just at the back of the um, apartments is the um, pool, which I will go in one day. But what we're going to go is we're going to go down to Malia Beach. And I'll also take you for a walk around the resort and see what the uh, various bars and restaurants and all that are. And having been on the main strip last night, which is what we did, it looks very, very lively indeed around here. 30 degrees out there now. It's going to be a scorcher of a holiday. This is new for us, everything. New country, Greece. It's the furthest east we've ever been in Europe. In fact, what I will show you now is where we are now on the globe. Right, so here's Malia Beach. Zoom out. That's the capital of Crete, Heraklion, which we will go to one day. The other big city is uh, there, Chennai. And this is where we are. And here's where we are. Out in the Mediterranean Sea, up there, that's the Aegean Sea. You've got um, Greece, that's the main land up there. To the east, all that, that's Turkey. Antalya and Marmaris around there, Istanbul up there, Ankara. There's uh, Cyprus and then towards um, Asia, uh, like Lebanon, North Africa. There's uh, Cairo and that down there, Libya to the south of uh, Crete. Um, see, look, so first we've gone, there's Italy and all that. And these are the countries we passed over last night. We passed over see Netherlands, Germany, Bosnia, Croatia, Montenegro, Kosovo, a bit of Kosovo, Albania, Macedonia, and all that, into Greece, and here's where we are now in the Mediterranean Sea. All these are the islands, such as uh, so you've got like Rhodes, Corfu, Zante, Skafos, and all that. Santorini and that. Greece has more beaches than anywhere else in the world. 
And out we draw, walk around Malia. Here's one of the main streets that we uh, came along last night. Look at this. That's blue skies. There's uh, another coach arriving from Heraklion Airport, I would imagine. We actually got a private taxi here because uh, no one on our plane was actually coming down to here, so but we are getting a minibus back to uh, the airport next week. Look at that blue sky. We've got all week of this to enjoy. So we're going to turn right onto the beach, just up here. Looking at the prices of these restaurants, a lot of um, British bars and that around. We're having it all right. So this is the uh, the strip where we came up last night. Nearly at the beach now, and it does look very good around here. Lots of um, bars and restaurants, little supermarkets as well, handy and cash machines. So if you um. Oh, I can just see blue seas up ahead from where I'm standing. You can also get cruises to um, excursions to other places as well. We were thinking of Santorini perhaps, the island, or even, of course, just going to Heraklion. But we've still got quite a bit of time to decide on that. So here is Malia Beach. This is the Mediterranean Sea. But that way is heading north up towards the Aegean Sea. There's a plane, a plane up there landing into uh, Heraklion Airport somewhere, which is uh, along that way actually. And then it's about 50 minutes, uh, about 45 minutes ride from the airport to the resort. Look at all this scenery. This is absolute stunning. The sort of thing you'd see in the UK on a TV program, such as Holiday, I wish you were here, but to come out here and see the real thing. This looks absolutely stunning, this. We're gonna enjoy it all. This looks absolutely stunning, Malia Beach. That way north takes you to the Greek mainland, Athens, and the islands to the east. Further east that way, you'll head out towards Cyprus and Turkey. West, along the island, takes you up towards uh, Heraklion, up that way. And that sea is actually crystal blue, like clear colour. I know there's quite a bit of seaweed in this bit, but I'm going to go for a swim in that. That's not going to bother me. Look at all this. this looks absolutely stunning indeed. And here's a good thing with being abroad, nice pint of beer by the beach. Oh, lovely. It's been a lovely afternoon here on Malia Beach and we've got much more of this to come in the next week or so. This is of course one of the many beautiful resorts you find in Greece, not just on the island of Crete,
but also islands such as uh, Zante, Stefos, Rhodes, Corfu, Santorini. There's a place called Falaraki on one of the islands. Many, many lovely resorts like this. The Greek gods have left us a lovely holiday to enjoy this week. Walking back towards the shopping bit, well towards the lodge and that, this is lovely here in Crete. All the sea, the north, the north end of it is behind us and in the middle you've got all the mountains, like these up here. Further west of where we are staying is actually Mount Ida, from what I know. Hey, this is all lovely, this. The water battle on the road that takes us to the lodge. You can really feel the heat. And it isn't just heat like what you get back in the UK. This is a Mediterranean climate, what we've got here. Crete will get more sunshine than rain. There was actually a little bit of rain, but like very isolated, like weeks ago. But however, what we've got forecasted all week. It's pure sunshine, 30 degree, 31 degree heat. Right, we've been fed, just had that um, Greek Giros. Quite nice actually, quite nice actually. It came to 11 euro, uh, 40 for that and a pint. So, out we go, through Town Amalia. We're going to take a walk along to the main strip and I'll show you from top to bottom what it looks like on the night time. So we're going to walk up uh, Malia's main strip at night time and have a look and see what it's like. And it looks tiny, tiny good indeed. We came up here last night, it was a bit quiet because it was like midnight when we came up here but now it's much earlier in the evening. The locals call it Beach Road. Uh, a few of the resorts with a strip. Got, obviously, Benidorm's got Cali Corona, uh, there's one in Madeloof as well. Um, this one does stretch on for quite a bit, so we're going to take a walk up and have a look. Lots of uh, bars, pubs, restaurants, nightclubs around here. to um, Stalias, Heraklion and to Aydros, Nicolaus on the, that's the northeast side of Crete. So when we come to get the bus to them places, this is where we'll have to come up. And apparently the bus fares are quite cheap actually.
We've had a fab night out here tonight. Walked all the way down the main strip and so far what I've seen is very impressive. We like the nightlife, being in the um being in one of the pubs, um you've seen the photos. Um we're having a walk down the beach, see what this end is like. Got some nice hotels and apartments around here. I think I would actually like if one of these down by the beach. Although I'd imagine they'd cost a bit more though than what our apartment would. Just before we go back to the lodge, we've come back down to the beach of Malia at night time. We didn't do it last night because we were a little time, we're just getting here and the view heading west along Crete looks absolutely fantastic. See all the uh, mountains in the distance there? That's heading towards um, a place called Stalius, which we are actually going to visit one day. So there'll be lots of other um, resorts in that. And further west, takes you along to the great capital, Heraklion. Talking of Heraklion, light shining here, I believe there is actually a plane arriving into Heraklion Airport. According to the flight radar, that is actually coming from Budapest, I believe. So, the beach at night time, it's not really as lit up as like what Benidorm and Slu in that were, but honestly, it still looks absolutely fantastic. And we're going to visit that west, that bit of the beach tomorrow. And this is where I'm going to end today. So, our first full day here in Malia has been brilliant. Been on the beach, hot weather, 30 degrees, and we've obviously had our meals as well. You'll find the food and drink here are generally cheap for a local pint of, um, the, lo of the local lard. It's about three euro, that's about two pounds sixty in British money. And We've um, been in them, um, and we've been out a couple of the pubs tonight as well. We've had a look around. So, roll on the next part tomorrow morning. Right, afternoon everyone. It's Sunday the 11th of September. It's now 20 past 1 Greek time and I went today in Malia. We're going to walk go to another part of the beach and chill out. And I might even try a little bit of jet skiing as well. Blue skies above me and sunshine. Once again topping nearly 30 degrees here on the island of Crete. And so far we are having a lovely, lovely time indeed. So just a little way to go before we turn right. Being surrounded by the lovely mountains here in Crete. This is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I think some of the biggest I've seen in my lifetime. I wonder what it would be like to actually go at the top of one of them. 
or even uh, Mount Ida on the uh, Island of Creek. So we'll go to where uh, the beach will probably will turn right somewhere up here. I think some of the beaches here are actually privately owned here in Malia. It's different than uh, back home, of course. I'm having a lovely afternoon here outside the um, Elos uh, Beach Resort. Look at this. This is absolutely lovely. In fact, I think this is actually a better spot than what the other beach was along there where we went yesterday. Look at this seawater. This is crystal blue. This, crystal clear. Absolutely lovely. That sun up there is really, really hot. <laughs> This is one thing I can finally tick off on my bucket list, that I've gone swimming in the Mediterranean Sea. This is absolutely lovely. I might actually try my hand at jet skiing soon. I think definitely we are going to come back to this bit a few more times during the holiday. It has been a fab afternoon here on um, on the beach, and as you can see the photos, I finally went jet skiing. Very, very good indeed. So those here on the water, watch out because Dot is about. I am absolutely sunburnt, me. I'm literally very, very sore on my shoulders now. We'll come back out tonight for a drink, but actually I'm not going to be filming that tonight. I'm going to leave the camcorder in the lodge. But all I tell you is that tomorrow. We're planning to go along the island to the capital, Heraklion, have a look at, um, at an ancient bit of uh, ancient Greece. So I think I will leave the um, video footage here for today.
Oh, good morning everyone from uh, another beautiful morning here in sunny Crete. Look at that. Not a cloud in the sky once again. Absolutely beautiful it is. So, today is Monday the 12th of September. Half past nine, Greek time. Two hours ahead of the UK, of course. The temperature here in Malia is... Well, it comes up now... 25 degrees Celsius and that's just and it, and it obviously climbs up as the day draws along gets up to nearly 30 degrees here we're having such a lovely holiday today we won't be going on the beach um, today we're going to be traveling to the capital of the island Crete that is Heraklion now obviously as I said on this island there are no trains nothing on rails whatsoever so it's going to be by bus to there and back so I won't be going on the beach today, we'll be doing some uh, sightseeing around the uh, ancient capital. So we'll get a look and see how what bus travel is like on the island of Crete. I've seen some buses go past and they look more like they're more like coaches than uh, like you start than your standard um, single decker and double decker back in the UK. Right. Now time to relax and enjoy the rest of the day. Not a beautiful morning in Malia, it is. Well, that sun's lovely, isn't it? I'm gonna walk up the strip. Get some breakfast and then we catch the bus to Heraklion at the end of the strip on the main road of the town. As you saw there, just had our breakfast in the uh, Mr. Dish Cafe, and I can tell you, really, really lovely. We had a uh, classic English breakfast with orange juice and PG Tips tea, and in my opinion, bigger and better than what you're getting in spoons in the UK. Now we're going to catch the bus to Heraklion. So the bus we get to Heraklion is actually down there, somewhere down there. And over here, the buses here are about the size of porches. They actually are more like porches than um, double deckers and single deckers. Road.
that's the first couple of clouds I've seen for many, many days over there. But apart from that, not a single one else. itself. City. 
capital of Crete. and over there there's a um, P&O cruise ship I think how massive they are these days compared to like say the Titanic in the 1900s oh yeah honestly they do cost a fortune So here we are in the Crete capital Heraklion. It's a good ride, was a good ride from Malia that along the course road and the buses go east onwards to the east of the island. It's 12.25 so we'll probably have a few hours here before we head back to Malia. It's a chance for us to look at a uh, traditional ancient capital city. Of course we won't get to Athens, that's on the mainland. But Anyway, let's go and have a look around. So here's the bit of Heraklion City that we just walked up. The bus station's along that way. So you do get city buses here. Um, there's a Mercedes uh, or something like that, just down there. There's the port over there, so you can actually get ferries um, to Santorini from here and I think also to the mainland as well. I think probably maybe to Italy perhaps actually. There's another um, Mercedes down there. Further out is the airport. So we got the bus here, it's cash only when you get on at Malia. But when you get on the bus here in the Heraklion, you do what you can actually use your card. You actually buy a ticket before you get on the bus. Looking a bit to the city already, you can see just how old a lot of these walls and that are. The Greek gods built all this. And they've left, so far, they've left us a beautiful island. come across lots of uh, narrow streets here in Heraklion. Everything here is obviously all built different to what, um, how it is in the UK. Look at, just look at all these walls and that. The heritage of Greece that is absolutely amazing. I can think just what it would be on the mainland. I'd love to go to say Athens for example and see the Acropolis. Anyway, here's our first look off the Sea of Crete here today and that looks absolutely beautiful, that. We're going to walk to that over there. That's the uh, Rock, Rocker Mare Fortress. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a walk. That's the flat of Greece there. Definitely going to have a walk down to that. We're probably going to be in this city for a couple of hours at least.
And we've got another stunning view from Heraklion. This is heading west along the uh, island towards uh, Tania, which is also meant to be a lovely place as well for holidays. This is of course the Sea of Crete, not the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean is actually on the south of the island. This is just honestly beautiful. I've seen all this watching the travel programs in the UK. Now I've come to see the real thing. Absolutely stunning indeed. I've seen a lot of planes take off from Heraklion Airport from here. Just seen a Ryanair flight just now. I've also seen a Jet 2 and TUI take off from here as well. But not just a British flights, you can get flights from other European countries as well into here. It's really windy as we pass the uh, fortress. Somewhere I think up there in the distance is Mount Ida, and out in the Sea of Crete, that is uh, actually known as uh, Deer Island spelled D-I-A.
Right, continuing our walk around Heraklion City, and we actually love it here. Honestly, it is absolutely amazing. See the photo, I had a great salad for the first time. Actually really nice, feta cheese, I love it. I just bought some souvenirs, some baklava, which are actually great baklava, is better than Turkish. Anyway, we're gonna walk up to the Masori Fountain, which is uh, further up in the city area. Honestly, we are having a lovely time. Dating back to 1629, under care on Francesco Morosini. This is the uh, Morosini Fountain. He was the um, general prove editor, I'm reading the sign by the way, of Crete during the uh, Ventinarian period. It's really, really good that. Right on the walk back to the bus station now. We've had a lovely time here in Heraklion. That's the next bus back to Malia, which thankfully they run very, very frequent, I think every 15 minutes. And also, singles, me and my mum, 350 euro each for a single to uh, Malia. The journey is about 40, 45 minutes.
just coming down towards Dallas and then towards Malia. Yeah, it's starting to cloud over now with the most amount of clouds we've seen for the last few days, but we're not worried. Right, back in Malia now. We've had a lovely time at Heraklion. As you can see, it is starting to cloud over. There's actually the most amount of clouds we've seen throughout the whole holiday, but thankfully, we're not worried because I've checked the forecast. None of it is rain. In fact, there's hardly any rain. There's rain nowhere near Greece at all. This was just, I think this was all Passover, but thankfully at least we're going to have no weather like we did in Benidorm for a year ago. So, we're going to finish today's bit here. Good morning everyone from Sunny Crete. Today is Tuesday the 13th of September, 20 past 11, Greek time. And this morning, we're going to go back on the beach. We were on uh, Sunday. It's another beautiful morning here. Although this time, a couple of clouds in the sky. So that's sort of cooling things a little bit. But do you know what? That's absolutely fine that. As long as the sun stays out, nearly all day, that's what we will be happy with. We are loving Malia. The beaches have been lovely, crystal clear blue seas, the nightlife here has been absolutely lovely as well. Uh, last night we went and tried one of the uh, watermelon fish bowls in one of the many cocktail bars. 25 euro and well it does serve four but you can have it with two people. Really, really nice it was. And we'll probably do more and we'll go out again tonight and the rest of the holidays as well. The rest of the holiday as well. So we'll walk with the same resort we went to yesterday. No, not yesterday, it was on um, Sunday actually. So we'll go further up here. And then there's a right turn, it's the uh, beginning of an air. Different the beaches here, different than um, different than what Spain were. They like little individual resorts, um, whereas like Benidorm, the beaches like spread it out right across uh, Levante and Penot and Penanti Penantia Beach. Right. Beautiful. It's another beautiful day in Malia on the um, AOLS uh, Beach Resort. See a creek today is a little choppy. It's good though for like surfing and catching the waves and all that. It's about 25 degrees Celsius. It looks absolutely beautiful.
another lovely day on the beach here in Malia. We were going to go to Stalis, but we've decided we've now got a plan for the next few days. We're going to go up there tomorrow morning. Doesn't it just look absolutely fantastic? Hardly a cloud in the sky, well, apart from these little ones up here. It's about 25 degrees. The sun is going down very nicely indeed. And at dusk, it really is lovely here. Yeah, up there is where we plan to go tomorrow morning to Stalas. I'm sure these mountains are taller than what like the Lake District is. Up there, the viaduct, that bridge, that's the uh, the motorway what goes from Brackley into the east of Crete. It's the road we came down on when we arrived here on Friday night. Right, out we go again. Just had um, Greek pizza in the restaurant next to us. Feta cheese and all that really draws well in a pizza, but I don't like olives, so I didn't put olives. I didn't have olives on mine. I'm going to walk a little up the strip, and then I'll show you bits of it on the way back down. So, walking up the strip, we've got various pubs in that up here. We have one called the Swan Paul Street, which um, is a classic, uh, which is actually a British style one. There's also one further back that way called uh, Reflex, which me and my mum have really, really enjoyed this week. Well, we went in the other night. One called Brit's Bar. A couple of ones that are not open actually. Look, Big Ben, one of them. The nightlife here in Malia is absolutely fantastic. So we're almost at the top of the street now. Right next to us is the George and Dragon English pub, another classic English pub name. We actually came here once we got here, actually, on the um, early hours of uh, Saturday morning, just gone. There's one called uh, The Loft. So come to the very top of the strip of Malia. Um, so lots of bars and pubs and restaurants and that. Everything to suit your taste, whatever your taste is when you come here on your holidays. Whether you want to like say go in a restaurant or of course pub or there's everything to everything in Malia to suit everyone's needs. We're walking back to our lodge now. It's been a, another fabulous day here in Malia. Now, you're probably thinking, how come I've not really filmed that much um, each day? Well, because I have just been trying to re just relax and all that, just, just taking in the atmosphere and all that. Um, that's why I've included a lot of stills in that for you. But, and, um, and that's why I've done, I haven't done that much video either. I know it does seem different, uh, a, a Dodd's Diary episode without any trains in it. But, then again, not all of them do have to be about trains. We're thinking of going in this um, um, pool and jacuzzi and that one day before we go. So, like, as I said, this episode is more like a travel programme. We were going to go to Salas today. But we got carried away by the um, the beauty of the nectar of the gods. That is the uh, the beach and the sea of Crete. But we are planning to go to Salas tomorrow morning. So from this particular bit, good night.